Hi, I'm John Schneider with Fargo 3D Printing. We're here at CES 2016 in the New Matter booth, and I'm here with New Matter CEO Steve, and we're going to talk about uh, talk about his printer, the Mod T. So, Steve, take it away. All right, terrific. So, the Mod T is really designed to be a consumer-friendly and classroom-friendly 3D printer. Uh, we designed it to be really affordable. It's only $399, so it's definitely one of the most affordable 3D printers around. And within that price range, we really carry a lot of features that, that other budget 3D printers might lack. Uh, it's aesthetically pleasing. We want to look good, be used in the home, in the classroom. It's also really quiet. We're actually using servo motors instead of stepper motors like you find in a lot of 3D okay. printers. And the stepper motors make that really high-pitched humming sound that a lot of people hear, right? right. Um, but in the classroom, that can be very distracting. In the home, that can be distracting. So we've designed it to be very, very quiet using the servo motors. Um, it's also Wi-Fi connected, connects directly to our online design store, and that's kind of the main portal to the Mod-T. So you go to the New Matter Store website, you can find 3D printable designs, or you can upload your own STL files and select your sli slicer settings there, and it streams over the Wi-Fi right into the Mod-T and gets going. Very good. So this printer has a very unique drive system. It doesn't seem to use your X-axis, Y-axis with belts and the stepper motors. Right. So I mean, just walk through, walk through a little bit more how this works. Yeah, so it's one of the really unique elements about the Mod-T is the two-axis motion system. So you see that we're moving the build platform around horizontally rather than the print head as you often see. Right. And the way we're doing that is what we call a two-axis pinion drive. Now we've got two pinion rods, basically long, skinny gears, and they're crossing one over another at the bottom of the printer. Sitting on top of that is a build platform with gear racks molded into a plastic component at the bottom. Those gear racks interact with those pinion rods, and while one is turning, it's sliding along the other one, and vice versa. And so what this does is it really combines the functions of the two axes into a very small number of parts, so we can produce this thing very cost-effectively, because as you can see, there are very few components in that motion system. Right. So for print materials, mainly PLA, any other materials aside from PLA? That's right. We don't have a heated bed, so it is a PLA-only printer at the moment. Uh, New Matter sells PLA in 14 different colors, um, but it's a non-proprietary filament spool, so any 1.75 millimeter PLA can be accepted into the Mod T. Right, so that's very cool to hear. I know a lot of our a lot of our, our viewers for this really like open formats as much as possible. Sure thing. So for uh, for slicing for this, uh, you might have mentioned this already, but the software that works with the Mod T does it, is this able to take any G code, or does it need to be a specific slicer? Uh, no, it can be either way. So we really provide two different routes to get a print job into the Mod T. Um, one is through our, wi our website and the Wi-Fi connection. There we use our pre-configured slicer settings. We do it all invisibly to the user and it, and it gets sent over the Wi-Fi connection. For someone like your audience who might be more advanced uh, and they want to use maybe Simplify 3D or Cura or something like that, they can create their own G-code and send it through our desktop application over the USB connection. Um, so that'll bypass the Wi-Fi, but they can get any G-code they want into the Mod-T that way. Very cool. I think that's all the questions I have for you. Anything else that you, uh, you want to talk about on the printer? Uh, I guess one thing that I want to mention is that we've actually just created an educational program. So we're getting ready to donate $200,000 worth of 3D printers and 3D printing supplies to schools. Um, those will go all across the United States. A hundred different schools are going to receive three Mod Ts, as well as 15 spools of filament and some other supplies as well. So we're really excited about that. All right. Well, that's very cool. Well, thanks again for, uh, for taking the time to talk with me sure. and have a good rest of the show. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Cool. No problem.